Hey, I'm Alex Rackle from Board Game Co, and this is an unboxing and rambling video with the knife, but without the coffee this time. Uh, short version is it's 12 o'clock at night, and I have a bunch of videos to get through. I'm getting caught up. Let, let's talk, let's talk. But starting off with this box that arrived today, which is Kingdom Builder Empire Edition. This is a giant box full of Kingdom Builder goodness that I honestly wanted to open up this morning when I got it, but I held off for the sake of the unboxing because this is not cheap. It may have been a mistake, but I have always enjoyed Kingdom Builder, and I think I'm finally getting rid of Winter Kingdom and holding on to Kingdom Builder. But let's go ahead and talk about this one. But also, like I said, I I'm trying to get caught up. I I've been traveling the past two weeks, which means I've fallen behind on videos in general for the sake of YouTube, for the sake of uh, trying to do all this content and stuff, while trying to be mindful of conventions, of travel, of all these different things that are in the way. I try to stay ahead on videos, and then inevitably... I'll go traveling for a bit, and then time will happen, and things will happen, and suddenly, before you know it, I've suddenly churned through, like, 20 videos in a week and a half, and I haven't filmed anything to be on top of things, and when I come back, I find it takes a little bit to get back in the swing of things. It takes a little bit to go back into, you know, that, that mode of just filming after video after video, of, of, of playing the games, of drafting up my notes, of doing what I need to do, and there's nothing quite like an unboxing to get me slowly back in the, uh, the mental swing while I get caught up from the past week and a half. And this... This is a Kingdom Builder Empire Edition, which I'm very excited for. We got the upgrade kit, and then I assume we have, oh, we have this over here. This is the lack of insert for this. I'm not necessarily as bothered as some are on this one. It depends on how it all comes together. We're gonna see over here. I certainly think that um, a complete lack of insert in a $200 board game is not the best, but I'm also known to throw out many inserts myself, so there is that aspect. We're gonna have to go through it all and see what we got over here. This might be a short unboxing because it kind of depends what we have. We have some cool stuff in here. We have some acrylic tiles. We have some cards. We have a whole bunch of things. But let's let's start and see what we got. Do I punch things now? I don't know. Hey, let's, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and show you things. This is Kingdom Builder Empire Edition. This is going to have, well, these over here, which are bigger than your normal Kingdom Builder tiles. Also, they're rubber-ended, which is very nice, but I'm worried I'm going to snap myself as I try to take this rubber band off over here. So we got this over here. So let's go and take this off and see what a 4x4 map of Kingdom Builder looks like when you do it all here. Also, these rubber bands. By the way, these rubber bands might be a bit too big for this. I think they are a bit too big for this. But this is like a fun little thing. Let's go ahead and show you this. Okay, you see this over here? This is a fun little trick, you know, where you can go ahead and just show people the rubber bands. And you can show them how they're all, like, locked in. You can see how they're firmly locked in, no matter how I tweak things over here. Like, over here, we got them. Over here. And then we got over here just a slow... Wiggle, 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 and they come apart separately. It's one of my favorite rubber band tricks. Right behind this one over here, where you go ahead and, you know, let's go ahead and lock that in firmly. So you can see we got a nice little bond over here. It's firmly locked in there, and you just go ahead, and it's a little too big for this trick to work in a clean, smooth way, but you can see it just pops around over there. Anyways, let's go ahead, enough of the magic, and show you what a 4x4 map looks here. This is Kingdom Builder and all the current expansions. I'm still hoping that there's going to be more Winter Kingdom. Now, the size here is definitely not bad. This is a, I mean, I don't know how well you can tell the size differential from what you can see on the top camera, because all you can see is regular Kingdom Builder. You can't tell. Let's go ahead and show you knife for scale. Does that work? Or what else can I show you for scale? Hand for scale? That's not bad. I mean, how big is your hand? How big is my hand? This is not the most useful scaling cards for scale. Maybe I could do cards for scale. These are typical size cards. I mean, they look like typical size cards. That's your Kingdom Builder map. It's it's a, supposed to be a bit bigger than a typical Kingdom Builder map. That's all I know. I don't know how much bigger, but some degree bigger. But past that, we got our usual tracks on the back, which I always felt was a bit of a waste. Give me more, like, give me one single track and then artwork on the back, back of these instead, as opposed to just, you know, every single one having another scoring mat on the reverse. But we have over here, what's the math on this, by the way? Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 different map tiles, of which you can have four unique ones. So the math on that is four unique items from a set of 24 unique items. There's a formula for that. I don't know it offhand, but I'm curious how many different co configurations you have of Kingdom Builder, and that's before we get into the scoring cards or the modules or all of that. Now, this game is playable on BGA, which is nice, but you only get the base game. We got our little boats over here and some train tiles and things. Again, we're going to go through the deluxe pack shortly, but we also all got all of these that I can punch out if I want. Do I, do I punch them out now? Do I leave everything as is? You know what? Let's go ahead and take everything out and figure out how it goes back in the box as we go. Let's make this a bit of an adventure we go through together. 
Although, what do we have here? We have our rule books. How many different languages do we have? We have the Spilza over here, and we have the Kingdom Builder Empire Edition. So this, this is going to be all international, so I don't need that. The Empire Edition, what does it give you? So it consolidates things, maybe. Does it? No, it's gonna, it breaks it up by base game and stuff. So that's, we have Nomads. So it doesn't really give you a con single consolidated depot. I wish, it, I wish it did. I wish I had a single place where you can kind of look at everything. As it stands, we have the four major expansions. We have the Harvest over here. Do we have the Queenies even in here? Not really. Oh no, here we go. We got the Queenies on the back. So we do technically have everything. I kind of wish I gave you a consolidated way to look at stuff. And let's just go ahead and show you a few more of these before we dive into the... How do I want to do this? What even is this? This over here looks... Um, it looks like this gets punched out over here. I'm assuming this goes in the garbage and this stays. A-D-O. Oh, is this a frame? Is this a frame? What do we have here? What am I doing? So, we got this over here. I don't know how this works, but I'm assuming it's a kind of frame. But I need to get all the pieces out. Anyways, uh, I'm sure there's a somewhere where I can go ahead. Let's take this out. So, we got these over here. These are going to be your little uh, ability reminders, which I've always found to be not necessarily as helpful as all that. They're fine, but for the most part, the iconography is never amazing, and it does the job, but... Let's take a look. So we got these frame pieces over here. So it looks like you build your own insert. Oh, look at that. Here, we got some pictures. We got some pictures. Over here, we have a picture-ish of how everything comes together. So we're supposed to build a bit of a frame, put it into the box in some way. Here we go. You see? That's what we got. So we're going to go ahead and assemble that shortly. But let's get everything else punched out first. Anyways, so Kingdom Builder versus Winter Kingdom. Winter Kingdom is a game that I... Replace Kingdom Builder because I prefer Winter Kingdom, but I found Winter Kingdom harder to table. I do prefer the gameplay of Winter Kingdom, but I found it harder to table, and so I went back to Kingdom Builder with this. Uh, I might go back to Winter Kingdom at some point. I do at that point maybe I do both, uh, but right now I think I'm settled on Kingdom Builder again, which I feel bad because it's a full play. There's not that video saying I prefer Winter Kingdom, and I I did until I realized it was harder to table. Like I think the gameplay is a little. A little better, and I think it does some really nice things that I wish I wish I had in Kingdom Builder. But ultimately, Kingdom Builder is just easier to table. You can't really beat that. This is nice, by the way. I don't know what this is over here. I don't, I've never had this promo. Oh, we got more of these tiles over here. Okay, one second. Let's kick these out over here. We'll do our assembly stuff shortly. We got this. We got these over here. We got that and this. I'm trying to just get these uh, ability tiles out, so you can take a look there. And this is there. We go. So let's go this, 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 we got that, and then we got these, which has more of those, punch, 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 and then this. Anyways, going back to Kingdom Builder vs. Winter Kingdom. So yeah, so I, I still like both, I still think both have a lot of merit, um, and ultimately, I think Winter Kingdom is better, but Kingdom Builder is easier to table, which I think I said in the original review, in the original play, that's not that, but I just didn't realize I'd be getting back uh, Kingdom Builder and getting rid of Winter Kingdom at the time. Okay, this looks like it's uh, properly empty. I'll check that up later. And let's dump that. And then, this is nice. I've never really, I've never had this over here. This is a nice little uh, promo island situation. Don't know how it plays or anything about it. Never really had this one, but it looks cool. It looks cool overall. So we'll in some way incorporate that into our Kingdom Builder. And now we gotta take a look at this. So we have this over here, which means we need to take this over here and this gets assembled with, let's take these out of the way. These are all our ability tiles. So they actually did give some sort of insert to their credit. Although, let's judge it together shortly as we see how everything plays out. These can go off to the side. We need these over here. This is going to be like that. This is going to be like this over here. So I got this in here. We're gonna take this and put it over here. And we're going to put that all over here. And they have it very nicely laid out, by the way. They have perfect little letters and everything showing you exactly how to build this. So we're going to put that like so. Then we're going to take this and put it like, hmm, like this, I think. Like this over here. So C and B. Again, they all, it actually, I don't even know if you need the iconography, the picture, because it does do a nice job of showing you everything there. But we're still going to, just in case, this is going to pop into there like so. This is not the bestest of inserts, but you know what? I'll take it because I don't know if I have an option. This is going to go like so. And then this is going to go over here 
like so. And then I think it just folds, it goes into your, your box, just like that. Not the best, but let's show you how this plays out. We now have this over here in our box. That's your insert, I guess, ish. And then from there, if we look at this, we should be putting these tiles into the main area. So let's put these in. I'll be taking out some of these to show you some more stuff shortly, but let's go ahead and put these in. I don't know, it just feels like a, it just, I mean, it, it works as far as putting the tiles in. You can see it there, the tiles do fit in, but it still doesn't feel all that great. Let's, let's see how this goes. So we have all these tiles over here, the ability tiles. These are also going to go in. It seems in various, I don't know, it seems like it's just, I guess it's sorting it by expansion, but I'm not going to bother doing that. So we're going to toss these in here and put those in. That got most of them in. I'll show you this in a second. We're going to toss this over here, put those in there. Great. Also, I'm like blinking something out of my eye now, so give me a second there while I deal with that. But then we also have to get these out over here. So we got this, 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 and this. All useful there. I'm going to toss these in to here. So we're going to pop those in there. And maybe a few of these move over just so we have some of these. But again, like I, I just don't think this is the most easy accessible way to uh, pull everything out and do what you need there. And then we'll toss these. I don't know. I think we need a bag. Let's, let's put these in here. The cards go somewhere. We're just putting these in here at this point. All this stuff. And then we'll have the actual pack. So let's open these cards and see what we got as far as our pack two of three. It's going to have some international cards here. Let's try not to stab myself. Anyways, as I was saying, just came back from Gamma, came back from UKGE, not UKGE, Steam Forge games before that, and getting all caught up on this stuff. Uh, we got international language cards here. This is where I need to make sure I don't throw anything out here. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. I do not want to miss a thing. Oh, oh, wait. Was one of those said? Did one of them say English? No. Construct, construct, Pepitas 10. No, no. Okay, this is Kingdom Builder tax cards. Okay, I think this I think this set is fine. This one's DE, and this one's hmm. Oh, US. Okay, we got US here. We got DE. So I'm opening this pack, expecting this one to be. So it looks like there's a bunch of. I always hate doing this because ultimately I'm going to be throwing out a bunch of cards over here, which I don't love, but I don't really see what I'm supposed to do otherwise. Like, it feels like a it feels like a waste. I understand from a production standpoint why this is done, but I don't love it because, well, because it feels like a waste. It feels like you're throwing things out because you are throwing things out. So again, 10 gold. None of these are going to be the ones I want. None of these here. They all have like words like construct, which are immediately capturing my eye because I'm looking for English and I see construct. And then I think that we're there, but we're not there. Okay. After this, what should I film a review for? Because I want to get another, I want to get another few videos knocked out tonight. Again, to, I, want, I need to get back in the swing of things mentally to be able to just get things taken care of. And there's a lot. I think I'll be filming actually now. I think about it. I'm filming a review for Wishland. Maybe I'll do that after this. Maybe. Although I might need more, more notes first. I don't know. I have a bunch of reviews that I could. A bunch of games that I've been going through. Wishland has an upcoming crowdfunding campaign. By the time you watch this video, that crowdfunding campaign is probably live. Okay, here we go. Here's all the content here. Build settlements, connect spies. I think this is all US based. Nope, it's not. No, it is. It is. Five gold, ten gold, seven gold, eight gold, and then here we go. It feels like there should be more cards, but maybe there's not. These are all international. So basically, five sixths of the cards aren't useful for anything. These are going to go into the cards. And this is what we have. These are the various configurations of lords you'll have in the game. Because in Kingdom Builder, you're basically going to be combining a few scoring goals. Depending on how you do it, you might throw in like you know an immediate scoring goal. And you're going to have those as the uh, driving force. Let's go ahead and move these to here so you can mix those together. And then we have a shape as well. Overall, you should have a lot of variability to the experience as far as how you can score different things. Between having just all of that. Although I still, I still wish it were more. All of that is good, but I do wish it were a drop more. Anyways, that's going to go in there, which means we now are going to have this over here, and we could put this into here, I guess, maybe. Maybe we'll put it on top of the, maybe we'll put that on top of the other one. We have our rule book over here, and now let's go ahead and take a look at the other fun things. These cards are making me sad, but let's go ahead and see what we got. We got that, we got that, we got these, 
this over here, this which I guess is no longer needed, and we have the upgrade kit. Now the upgrade kit, this I'm very excited for because this represents a bunch of different things, including acrylic tiles, including uh, deluxified buildings, and this is going to ideally make your Kingdom Builder experience more deluxe, cooler. This is the main reason I want to like unbox this. The larger tiles, but then everything over here. What is this? What are these? Oh yes, right. I forgot about these, the larger cars. I'm gonna need sleeves for these. What is this? What do we have here? Let's take a look what we got. It looks like we got another box assembly situation. This one going inside this. Ugh. Do I dare assemble this on camera? I guess I could, right? If I can get it out, that is. Let's see if I can get it out first and start with that. Okay, so we got all of this coming out. Ooh, it's definitely starting to assemble whether I like it or not. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's move this off to the side. We'll go through all this shortly. And then we'll put the upgrade kit. We're gonna go through all this. You can check the timestamps for any particular section. We got Queen E4. This is all gonna be a mix, isn't it? This is a mix of different languages in here. We got our new components. We got eight decree cards, changes doing setup. I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by that. I'm gonna look through this shortly. I'm sorry I'm for sticking my head directly in this, but change doing sequence of play. Additional rules. Play this round of Kingdom Builder with Queenie One Capital. That's not really a decree card. We have a decree card here that basically says use the modules, which doesn't feel like a decree card. That's more like it. Okay, we got some interesting things over here. A few pages of this, but let's go ahead and start with the assembly. So, what do we got? Jeez. We got over here, we have all this stuff, which is why I'm a little overwhelmed with these various boards. But in fact, speaking of being overwhelmed, let's grab these. See, these are where players are going to have their own individual areas to store stuff, like including your ability tiles, which is just a quality of life adjustment for, you know, variety of player counts. That you'll store your ability tiles on here. You'll put them down there, and then you can have your own little different unique cuts and things, which look cool. There's a, we got those for those, and then we got these two over here. So we have another red one over here, as well as this one green one over here. And then from there, we need to actually start assembling things, because this is where we have we have these sideboards too, which I don't know what these are for necessarily, but I have them. So let's take a look. We got one for each color. I don't know why we have a sideboard. Is there a reason for it? I mean, is there more? Are there more tiles depending on what you do? Is there an expansion where you can have extra tiles in play? This looks this looks safe to throw out. As far as that, which means we just have this board here, which is not yet safe to throw out, but will be shortly. That's going to need to be punched shortly. This over here, this is certainly giving me a bit of a. Okay, we got this one over here. We got this one over here. And again, it has all the letters nicely printed, so it should be pretty easy to put together. I'm still going to use the picture because, well, I want to. And then we got caves and situations. This is going to be, what is this? We'll go, I'll show you this in a second. Oh my gosh. That, I don't know how this is going to go. Let, okay, let's, let's take a second. Let's take a second. My fingers are getting stuck in this here. Anyways, this looks safe to throw out now, which means it's time to go ahead and do the assembly part, which we're going to rely on this for. So we have our longer side over here, which we need to punch out this this and this that's going to go over here then we need the other side of this which is this one i guess i don't feel like this one lines up we got this one on this side this one on this side so there we go okay then we need to take this one this is going to be on the middle c m h a c a c m h not h a we're going to put this like this like this we should probably take this out now too, by the way, because we probably, although we need this for the base, that's the that's the top over here. So if you put this over here, like so, this probably goes in here. This is not really an insert, I'll admit. This is more of a general guideline of situations that you can have, which is still, I mean, I'll take it over and nothing, but even that, I'm not sure. Then we're gonna go ahead and take these, putting this one, where does this one go? This one goes over here, it seems. But does it go inwards? I'm not confident if it goes inwards. I guess it does go inwards. Looking at the picture, you see that goes inwards here. We got the C, which is an M on it, which means this goes over here. We got this one, which has 
the Q on the other side, which means it's going to go over here. And then we've got this one, which feels like the M is going to go over. Nope, I can't figure it out. Where does it go? It doesn't go on this side. Does it go next to the C? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it goes over here. It goes over here, it seems. H? Yeah, I guess it goes here. Okay. So everything goes here like this, which is the flimsiest, almost, I mean, it feels pretty garbage right now. I'm not saying what it is or isn't like yet, but currently it does not feel um, the bestest. Well, I guess does this go in underneath? Oh, this is interesting. That's not the worst. I don't mind that. So if we take this out like so, then this goes in underneath. And then you can kind of have the sections laid over on top, which I, I like that. That's at least nice, although I still don't know where these go, honestly. So it's only limited in its use. But what we will have is we're going to have the colors of these things over here. So this is where you'll, you're going to have these going in here, I guess. I mean, do I bother putting it in a bag or do I just put it like that? I guess I'll just put it like that. Let's see. Let's see if I regret this later. So we're going to have our cards. I mean, again, it's a really flimsy insert. I feel like I want these bags over the um, the insert. Because even so, grabbing this out over here, you know what, no, I'm gonna leave it in the bags. Because as much as it would look prettier right now in this unboxing video, I think practically speaking, trying to grab these out is more trouble than it's worth. But we are gonna show you them, so I will have to do that in a second. But that's basically the idea here. You're gonna have all the various components from the, uh, you know, the, w the little castles will go in here, which I'll dump in. You can see these over here, you put them, and then you toss them in there, like so. And that's your little insert. That is, that is hot garbage. Listen, Queen Games, I appreciate the insert. I appreciate the game. I, and to be clear, I backed this myself for the record. But uh, I appreciate the game, and I like your games. But this is, this is not the most quality insert for $200 game I've seen. So, uh, I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed. Not, not crazy disappointed. Because, like, just, like, look at this. Look at this. This is just pushing out like that. Like, what, what is that supposed to do? I don't know. It is what it is. I'm going to toss those in there. We got our cards as well, which I don't know where those go yet. This looks like they go in there. Let's go ahead and show you some fun things, because there are some fun things here. And I am overall happy with this. Overall. It just, I almost, I almost would have rather no insert there. That's a, it's a personal thing, but I almost would have rather have no insert than have an insert that feels like it's so garbage that I almost want to throw it out right after assembling it. We'll see. I'm not going to throw it out yet because you can't undo it once you do. But I am going to go ahead and look at these uh, little cards you can play. We have a capital, caves. These are going to be the various uh, decrees you can have. Island, play this round of Kingdom Builder with Queen E3. Again, it's not really a, uh, a decree so much as just use the expansion. It, every time a player builds a settlement, they may move that settlement to an adjacent mount text. That's cool. These, I like these. Each turn a player may use one of the extra locations of their right-hand neighbor. Volcano. Well, I'm not going to read that because it's too long. And then that's it. That's all we had. The rest of them are just um, other international cards. So so this is what we got. We got, I don't know, eight decree cards. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of which, of these eight, three of them say, use a module. So five decree cards. I mean, I'll take it. One of the things, one of the things I liked about uh, Winter Builder... Kingdom Winter Builder? Kingdom Winter Kingdom Winter Kingdom is the fact that they have these kind of cards that modify the gameplay that I really like them. These, by the way, these are nice. I do have to find sleeves because I do not want to just use these as is, but these are like some nice large cards with like updated art. I like these. These are nice. I think it's updated art. I can't tell if it's updated art or if it's just larger. But either way, oh, and then they had these ones as well for one of the expansions. Those, uh, you know, where you can use those. Although they have those instead of the regular caves. No, they have the regular ones. Okay. Right. Either way, let's go ahead and toss those into the card section. We'll toss you into the card section. I don't know what else goes into these sections. This I don't even know where it goes. It doesn't doesn't these don't work in a typical sense. Neither do these for that matter. Do these go on? Are these supposed to go on top? That doesn't feel like it works. Let's do one thing at a time and figure it all out. In the meantime, let's show you what Kingdom Builder would look like ideally with some of these deluxifications on your actual board, because that's the part that I think is cool, not the rest of this. So, if we again take these over here, and we lay out a bit of a Kingdom Builder scenario, oh, these, I'll show you these. They, I don't, I'm gonna be half complimenting and half complaining throughout this video, you see. These are okay, 
I don't love the specific look of the uh, amberness of them. The feel of them is nice, and they are a nice improvement over the regular tiles, but I wish there was a better color. You'll see what I mean. So, we have these. These are an upgrade or replacement from the regular tiles you'd get in Kingdom Builder. So you've got a little acrylic tiles. I don't love the amber color of them, but they are nice as far as you know. You're again, you're going to have your player board over here like so, and then you're going to have a bunch of these tiles. You can lay them out and then activate them as you go, flipping them as you use them. So just popping down your tiles, going down here. Let's just give a bunch of tiles. You are nomads, which are one-time use tiles. I'm going to put them down, and then you have your tiles over here, and as you use them, you can just go ahead and flip your tile, and you have these nice little setup over here, which feels entirely too much work. I'm never going to use this. I'm never going to use this. This is like, I'm just going to use these, like trying to like, keep them next to each other as you use your tiles. I guess I could just, I guess I could do that because I don't think I'd ever flip them. But the truth is if I had these down over here, this is way too much table space, unnecessary. But if I had them down over here, I could just push them off as I use them and then slide them back another round. That I might do. I do think this is kind of unnecessary, way too much table space wasted on those because this game is going to be large enough as it is. I'm not going to throw them out. I'll keep them in case I want them, and I'll ignore them if I don't. But they, they're kind of nice to have. But that's not the part I want to show you. The part I want to show you is as follows. We're going to go, go ahead and put out two Kingdom Builder tiles. Why two, you ask? Because, honestly, no, we'll put out four. Let's put out four. I was going to say because it's too large for the camera. But I want you to get that sense of scale here. So we're going to toss them out over here. Here's your Kingdom Builder map being thrown together right now. I think it's like that. It's like that. No, it's like that. It's like that. Here we go. Here's your Kingdom Builder map thrown out over here. And then we're going to start, start putting some of these uh, things down the board. These can go off to the side. We'll deal with those later. But first and foremost, we have these red huts here. These red huts, which red, by the way, red plastic never shows up great on camera. That's the best we can do over here. Let's go ahead and put them down somewhere onto these various zones. You're going to throw your huts out. I do, I do like these. This is a nice little thing as far as being able to throw in... <clears throat> The map, the board art, I don't love the new flower hexes. Some of these things I do like, some of them I don't. We're going to go and throw some of these out. Then we're going to go ahead and grab these, some of these or these these yellows over here, which may or may not show up better on camera. Let's find out. These are, yeah, these show up nice. These show up very nicely. Look at those. So we're going to go ahead and throw these out. You know, someone's vying for control of that pillar over there. Someone's trying to get a little, you know, edged in on the castle tile, getting some points for being around those over there. And we're going to start making a chain to this other area. That's going to be the yellows on the board. Then we have our blues. Because you could play this five player if you want to. Although I think really three and four is best for Kingdom Builder. Even if four starts to get fairly competitive as far as how cluttered the board is when you're trying to go for those spots. Now in the game, by the way, the way this game plays out is you're trying to, whenever you draw a terrain card, you're limited to being able to place next terrain. Right now, if I drew a planes, I'd have to place here because I have a, 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 an adjacent settlement there. Versus now, if I draw planes, I could place it down here and start a new area. I guess I wouldn't go there. I'd try to go over here to get some ability tiles and play. Let's go ahead and start getting some of these, you know, various locations on the board. And then I don't think I, I think you're looking at me the whole front way. This, this whole thing made sense. It did make sense. I'm telling you it did. But we're going to go ahead and see some of these. Let's go ahead and show you. These are nice. Purple might be my favorite. You see these over here? Look at this. Look. This focus. Focus. That is a purple tower over there. I like that. You see, when we take this, we're going to pop these down. This is your board slowly developing of various sections of terrain. Just building out the uh, area on the board. And then lastly, lastly, we're going to have green. That's not true. Not lastly, because we also have those towers. But green is also pretty nice. But purples are definitely my favorite. I think purple is definitely, this is a very, it's a very nice version of Kingdom Build, I'll say that. Despite my complaints, despite the extras, despite the terrible insert, I am happy I have this because this is something that's nice to, it's nice to own a deluxe version. I mean, I have plenty of deluxe versions of games, but this is a, a ver this is a game I learned way back from a guy called Christian, who, Christian, I, let me know if you're watching this, Christian, because I don't know, I never really thought about whether you do or don't watch these videos. You see, Christian was a guy from local meetups here who taught me Kingdom Builder a long, long time ago. And he I, he and I played a few games back back in the day, and I haven't connected with, him, connected with him in a long time. Although, look at these castles here. And then we got this. Look at this. Look at this. And then, there we go. Top, popping these down onto the castles so you can go ahead and have that kind of indicator of, I mean... I guess this is the castle. I'm not even sure, honestly. I feel like these castles are not 100% clear, but you won't always need all of these. It kind of depends on the board. But this is your uh, Kingdom Builder kind of board experience, which means now it's time to toss these back in the 
terrible, horrible, no good insert. Again, this is going to be a very mixed unboxing. There's good stuff, there's bad stuff, there's more stuff. Let's try to take this and clear out these boards over here. Okay, so we got this over here. We're going to take our little tiles, toss them back in here, and put this in department one. That's going to be over here. We're going to have our little castles in department two over here, pushing into the next zone. It is what it is. We're going to build these over here. And then put these into zone over there. I'm going to grab these and put them into the next little department. Again, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out. I think some of the acrylic tiles are supposed to go into here. I don't know. Okay. And we're going to toss it into here. And then lastly, we have these over here, which will go into that last department. But again, pulling these out in a bag is going to be much easier than stuffing them into the thing. And from there, we're going to grab these, putting them back into the big box, because we do need to put these back where they came from. I am looking forward to playing this game properly. Properly just meaning with all the upgrades and modifications. I think, I don't know how it wants me to do this over here. We're going to toss this in there. We're going to toss this in here. And toss these in here. And then boom, we got everything there. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to get everything there, but we now have officially everything there. Which means this now goes into this box over here. So we take this, putting this into this box here, and that still leaves us room on top for all of these, which is good because we need room on top for all of these. There's too much room on top for all of these. But at least we have all stuff Kingdom Builder all wrapped up and ready to go. This is the Kingdom Builder Empire Edition. It's got a lousy insert. It has some definite unnecessary things going on here. But overall, we do have a fairly nice deluxified game that I am happy to own and put on my shelf and pull out at some point and properly play it. In any case, until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I still feel bad about these wasted cards. Also, also, these not being good, Alex. Not being good. But until next time... As I put this back in the box and figure out what I'm doing with my kingdom and all this stuff, I hope you have a good one.